We always say, you know, we're like the morgue, you gotta come see us eventually. Everybody has to get their hair cut, and it doesn't matter what kind of person you are. Um, Mr. B, head barber at Frank's Chop Shop, located in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. What's unique about our barber shop, Frank's Chop Shop, is that you get everybody pretty much at the gamut of New York City, white, black, Spanish, Asian, it's a melting pot. Sometimes guys are scared. They want something edgy, but they're too nervous to ask for it. That's what makes every barber unique. They're gonna have their own interpretation of what best suits that guy. So if you can kind of get that vibe, then you, you kind of go for it, and then they usually are pretty happy. I'm in a band, it's called Scrapers. We all come from punk rock, so it has a punk rock attitude to it. Most people probably wouldn't even like the music that we play, and we're completely fine with that. Uh, I started cutting hair when I was 12, 13. I formed my first band when I was about 12 or 13. Both things I'm very passionate about, and they've always just gone hand in hand. And my friends and I were skateboard punk rock kids. You couldn't go into a barber shop at that time and say, give me a mohawk. So we found a pair of dog clippers, and I sort of became the cruise barber, if you will. At that time, it was just hack, you know, just, you just go and just hack it. Then discovered the actual real art of barbering. At the chop shop, each guy brings his own set of skills to the table. Kevin is the straight edge heartthrob of the shop, and uh, a lady killer from what he tells me. He comes in every day and he goes above and beyond. You know, he's a great barber. He's a die-hard soldier. Hero is just like positive mental attitude to the fullest. He has PMA tattooed on his hand. That's like how positive that cat is. And he's got a unique style that he brings to the table. I really like having him on board. There's also Euclides. Euc is solid as a rock. He's consistent, man. Every day, like, he comes in, you know what you're gonna get with you. It is New York City, and I like to consider this place somewhat of an aquarium. You know, the schools of fish and the crazy people walking around. I remember there was a particular day, I noticed a guy walking down the street that was, it was ever scissor hands. He had the hair, he had the scissor hands going. I mean, it was him. I said, there's no way ever scissor hands is walking by a barber shop right now. Like, who is this guy? I was almost inclined to, to hire him. He wasn't down for it. He's like, nah, I'm a, you know, I'm a ronin. I have no masters. <laughs> Keep on walking. Every day you're being confronted with those, with those characters. I mean, I personally really thrive off of that stuff. You know, when you think about what goes on in New York City and you don't live here, come to the chop shop and you will get that experience. Yeah.